If you're watching this video and you're in your early 20s, I want you to know that this is the most important time in your life to save money, especially if you're in your early 20s. For anyone older or younger, you're definitely going to get a lot of value from this video as well. If I could go back to the days of being in my early, early 20s, which was just a few years ago, I'd give myself the same exact advice I'm about to give you. So I'm going to jump right into this and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth where I show you how to save money and make more money all while bettering yourself every single day so you can live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. Saving money is the one thing in life that will give you confidence like no other. Like watch how outspoken you get when you have six months worth of expenses saved up. Watch how much nerve you have when you have a year's worth of expenses saved up. That's that I can act up a little bit kind of money. But before you get there, things look a lot different, a lot more uncertain, and you don't feel as secure. It literally feels like walking on a thin sheet of ice and you know that that one wrong step can send you below the surface into the water. And for most people, that's moving back into their parents' house, having to move in with a friend or even other family members. And that's a big fear for a lot of people nowadays, no matter what age you are. So I say that to say, the first frugal living hack is to view the ways that you get paid as your business partners. Like most of us have full-time jobs, so no matter how good or bad you feel about your job right now, you've gotta view them as your business partner. Because without them, the lifestyle you have right now wouldn't exist, even if it's less than ideal. That means whatever brings in income for you, do it to the best of your ability. Whether it's a full-time job, part-time job, or a side hustle, all of those are your business partners and that's how you're gonna start building your empire. That's gonna change the way you look at money. You will no longer look at money as, oh, this is something I can splurge with at the mall. I can buy those Jordans I've been wanting. I can buy those designer clothes now. I can eat at my favorite restaurants all the time and treat myself. Like, no, you're gonna view your money as so much more than just fun money, splurge money, spending money. This was something I had a really hard time with because when I was in my early 20s, I hated my first couple of jobs and I built up this resentment towards both of them. And I wasn't grateful for what I had and I think that affected my work ethic because I definitely wasn't working as hard. I definitely wasn't going above and beyond. And I think it was because I was associating the bad experience I had at work with the money I was making. So I found myself time and time again using that money as a way to mentally escape from the bad experience I was having at work. That definitely leads to bad financial decisions because that's basically saying, I hate my job. So now I'm gonna go spend money on things that I don't need because they make me feel better and look better temporarily. And at least now I can show the world that I have money and that I've been working for something this whole time. I can wear those overly expensive clothes. I can have a good time on the weekend. I can do whatever I want with my money because I earned it and I deserve to have a break from the chaos that is my work life. The ironic thing about thinking like that is the fact that that's exactly what traps you in the reality that you already don't like. The same reality that you're not grateful for. So it reinforces that negativity. I had to wake up to this on my own and I had to change my ways and actually start building up my finances. Because I had to realize that my finances were my responsibility despite how bitter or negative I felt about my business partners, my job. Once you realize the more money you save without touching it and just keep adding on to it, you will have nerves of steel. The ball is gonna be in your court now and that means you will have leverage, which means others will have less leverage over you. And that in itself is very liberating. Then when you get ready, you can use your leverage to ditch your current business partner and get a new one, a better one, one that pays more, one that treats you better. I'm extremely passionate about this, so I had to cover that first. Be very aware of how important it is to treat the money that you work so hard for with the respect that it deserves. This is your future we're talking about. And this realization actually had me throwing extra money that I didn't even know I had at my savings like, <gasps> extra $20, <gasps> extra $100, <gasps> extra $1,000. And it also made me very grateful because I no longer felt like I was in a prison where I had no control over my life or my finances. I felt like I had control. And the reason I had control was because I was making smart decisions with the money I was getting from my job. And I knew those decisions would lead to a future where I would win. Enough about that. Be grateful, 
Treat your money with respect. That's the lens you're going to want to see your personal finance through. And that's what's going to lead to the next frugal living hacks I'm about to go over. Like treating saving like you're buying something. This is a straight up game changer. Whenever I felt like I should be saving more and any time I was trying to figure out why I couldn't reach my savings goals, I thought back to a time where I wanted something. I mean, I thought back to when I wanted certain video game consoles or a certain pair of shoes. Jordans were my main pair of shoes back in the day. Or even when I wanted to rent a beach house with my friends. Like, every time I wanted something, I was able to come up with the money for it almost immediately. So why can't it be the same for saving? We're way more likely to spend most of our money that we make by the end of every month than we are to save most of it. Why? Because it's easier to spend than it is to save. So you remember my huh, analogy? Save just like you spend because when you save money, you actually are buying something. With every dollar you're able to put in your savings account, you are buying something. Huh. I'm buying myself some peace of mind. Huh. I'm buying myself some financial security. Huh. I'm buying myself some freedom. You get what I'm saying? My savings started going up like crazy when I started thinking that way. And you know what? After this video, check out my other video on how I saved over $70,000 in less than four years if you really want to see just how powerful this is. And check this out. Once you master this, your whole personal finance journey is going to evolve into something special. And that happens when you make the right decisions. I know that's really broad, so I'm going to narrow it down for you so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And I cannot stress enough how important this is. So if you get nothing else from this video, I want you to take this home with you, memorize it, dream about it, and apply it every single day for the rest of your life. The wrong decisions are what will cost you the most in life. We can talk about cutting back on expenses, not going for the coffee, cutting off the $14 a month Netflix membership, but I don't find cutting back on expenses like that to be very valuable because stuff like that has a microscopic impact on your life. I think those are only helpful in really extreme circumstances, but what costs you the most money is not making the right decision. Because the idea is you wouldn't have to cut back on your expenses so much if you just made the right decisions in the first place. The right decision is deciding to have roommates because the cost of living in your area is too expensive for you to pay rent on your own. That right there will cut your monthly expenses into a fraction. Another example of making the right decision is buying an economy car used in cash instead of buying the brand new gas guzzling truck of your dreams that costs in excess of $50,000. That by the time you finish paying it off, it's already lost more than half of its value. At least some monthly payments that add to your overhead. Then you'll find yourself having to cut back on basic expenses just to afford that truck. That sucks. Here's the last one I'm going to give you for free. And this is probably the most important one. Be careful of who you let in your circle of friends because they influence you the most. That could be the difference between you having a financially abundant life and you being bout broke. Wondering where all your money went. I'll tell you where it went. Bad decisions like overindulging in alcohol, going to bars and clubs too much, hanging around people who have bad money habits, splurging just because you feel like you deserve to treat yourself after a long week of work every week. Buying things you can't afford, spending money you don't have on expensive things you don't need, and now you're in credit card debt. I've been there. That's how I know it's a bad decision. And here's one for good measure. Not controlling your hormones. I, I mean, hormones. That might have rubbed someone the wrong way, but I'm telling you right now, it's very expensive to have a baby with the wrong person. Not only is it monetarily expensive, but it's mentally expensive too. Wrap it up. Enough said. Since you're still here, I want to thank you for putting up with my shenanigans. Ah. And as a reward, I have a bonus for you. The right decision to make once you've got a good grasp on saving is to start building wealth for your future and figuring out where to put your money so it can grow exponentially over the course of time. That's really what I would have told my younger self. I would have been like, hey, the same way you're like, huh, with your savings, do the same thing with the stock market. I ran out of money to do the huh with. But yeah, I would definitely tell myself to do the same thing I'm doing with savings with the stock market so that way it can grow exponentially much, much, much faster. But do your research first, though. And I just want to say this real quick. If you haven't noticed, I've talked about stocks and other investments quite a bit on this channel as of recently. That's because it's extremely important to invest and grow your money over the course of time. Like saving is great. Financial planning is great. And this is a really good platform to talk about all of that stuff. But I'm also building a layer on top of that. I want to talk about 
growing wealth and building wealth because that's really the whole point of personal finances if you really think about it like you work all your life to one day retire and there's ways and methods that i'm putting on this channel in my videos of how you can actually retire earlier than expected and also leave something for your kids or even your kids kids who knows and one of the goals i have for this channel is actually to start having an active chat going on in the comments where people actually talk about stocks that was happening at one point but it kind of fell off a little bit probably because i didn't talk about stocks as much but i think it'll be super cool if y'all talked about your investments and what you're thinking of doing and what your dreams are that would be super cool i'd, I'd love to take it a step further than just talking about saving and financial planning and you know minimalist living and stuff like that so whoever wants to start that i will appreciate you forever anyways back to the video when you're young it's best to be frugal and save money because you want to, not because you have to. That'll put you in the position of strength later in life where you have the choice to live life on your own terms instead of someone else's. So I know I've joked around a little bit in this video, but I'm dead serious. Any extra dollar you get that you don't need for like necessities or debt or anything like that, it is in your best interest to save or invest it. It will take you a very long way. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.